All right, so happy Thursday. It's almost Friday. It's almost Friday. Just to let you know, a couple more weeks, spring break. I think three more weeks, spring break. So that's nice. All right, so are these two triangles similar? How do you know? Again, similar just means, and, and you guys have a, have a visual of this. You guys kind of know what similar means. It's just a smaller version of something, right? A smaller version of something. Oh, I actually have an example. Okay, you know what? I got to run downstairs really quick to get my example because I just saw something on my desk that I have an example of to show similarity. So hold on. So when we're talking about similar, we're talking about two objects that are the same. They're just different sizes. So I have this. So let me show you. Actually, let me change to the camera. So I have this. This is a game I used to play when I was a kid. It's a little cheap football game, right? Before there was a, it's called electronic football. And it's really, if you can see, there's little red dots in there. And you got to move with this keypad. You got to move your guy so he doesn't hit the other red dots. And it's kind of fun. And so my wife got me this for Christmas a couple years ago. But about two months before she got it for me, I had seen this keychain. I had seen this keychain. And if you put them side by side, they are the same thing pretty much. Right? But one is a smaller version, right? And these are similar, right? They're just one is shrunk and one is. Can I see that? So. That's what I'm talking about. Two figures. And you guys notice this. You guys, when you look at something, you can tell. Like when we looked at the hippos last week, you can tell that one was distorted and one was actually a smaller version of the other one. Right? So that's what we're saying. Is that small triangle a smaller version of that big triangle? Or is that big triangle a smaller, a bigger version of that small triangle? Okay, so that's what we're trying to, trying to see. Okay, so there's two things. I told you yesterday, there's two things. Hold on. Am I laggy to you guys? Am I getting laggy? No? Okay. So there's two criteria to see if they're similar or not. Can anyone remember what those two things are to say that two, two objects are similar? Hint. They are in yesterday's notes. That's a big hint. Anybody remember the two things? Hello, is my mic on? Hello, can you guys hear me? Hello. Bueller. Bueller. Anybody? Bueller. So what are they? Right, if we go back to our, ooh. Proportional and size. So let's let's see. Let's go back. There are two things here, right? The first thing was what? All corresponding angles are congruent. So if the, between the two objects, all the angles stay the same. And that makes sense. Because if I had an object, and if I change the angles, like if, if I had this object, and I change the angles on the corners... It would not look like this. If I increase or decrease the angles, if you change the angles on the corners, you're going to change the shape of what's going on. So all the angles have to stay the same. So when I zoom in and zoom out, all the angles have to stay the same. The things that are changing are the sides, right? The lengths of the sides are changing. But they change in a special way. They are proportional, right? That's a big word for some of you. You're like, proportional, that's a big word. Uh, I still don't get it, mister. Well, let's think about it. <clears throat> when I grow... And I shrink. I want them to grow and shrink at the same rate, right? Well, that's what we say this. All sides grow and shrink at the same rate. And I think some of you didn't know this, but rate, rate is a short version of saying ratio, right? And some of you heard that and went, oh. your mind was blown. Like, oh my God, that's what rate is short for? Yeah, rate is short for ratio. A rate is just a ratio comparing two things like miles per hour right? That's a rate. That's a ratio. So they have to grow at the same rate. So the sides have to grow and shrink at the same rate. That means I need the same ratio. And if I have two of the same ratios, that's a proportion. That's why things grow and shrink at a, that are, that are proportional. 
So the two things I need to have, one, all angles are congruent, and two, all sides are proportional, or all matching sides, right? Matching are proportional. Okay, that means I have the same ratio. So we'll look at that. So all angles are congruent. So let's look at that first. Are all angles congruent? Well, let's look at this angle and this angle. Yep. What about this angle down here and this angle down here? Yep. And then we have this angle over here and this angle over here. Ding, 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 ding. Wait. Wait. There we go. All angles are congruent. Check. Check. So now we need to see are all matching sides proportional. So now we have to make a ratio. We have to make a comparison. Remember, ratio is just a comparison. We're comparing two things. That's why we have a fraction. How many things are in a fraction? Two, the top and the bottom, numerator and denominator. So we're comparing two things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare, and he, this is important. I'm going to compare the, the large triangle to the small. Okay, order matters. We're going to talk about this. If I say I'm going to compare the large to the small, that means all the large values go, are going to go up here because I said it first, and all the small values are going to go down here because I said it second. So let's do that. Let's compare sides. So if I look here, pink to green, pink to green. Let's compare pink to green and pink to green. So that's 30 to 10. So which one do I put on top, the 30 or the 10, based on what I said here? When I compare, I can put the 10 or 30 on top, but I said I'm going to compare large to small. That means large on top, small on bottom. So if I'm going to compare this side to this side, which one goes on top? 30. Because the largest on th and the bottom is what? 10. So I'm comparing the sides. This side is 30. This side is 10. Now, does that equal the other sides when I do the same thing? Does that equal the other side? Well, let's do another side. Let's look at 27. 27 and 9. 27 goes on top. 9, which is the matching one, right? How do we know it's matching? Because it's pink to orange, pink to orange. We know those are the matching sides. We always got to put matching sides, right? Matching sides. So 27. Oops, sorry about that. 27 to 9. So 27 over 9. So now let's see. These two ratios, if this is a proportional shrink or enlargement, should be the same. So what's 30 over 10? How do I simplify 30 over 10? Right, we just got to simplify both sides to see if they're equal. What's 30 over 10? Well, I can divide both of them by 10, right? And I get 3 over 1 equals, what about this fraction? I can divide both of them by 9, and so I get... 3 over 1. So guess what? Both ratios are equal. That means both sides shrunk or grew at the same rate. And what rate did they grow at? Well, we can, we can say a sentence. We can say, ooh, this is called the scale factor. We can say um, the ratio from large triangle to small triangle triangle is 3 to 1, or 3 to 1, right? And why did we say large first? Why did we say large first? Because that's the first one we had on top. First always goes on top. Second always goes on the bottom. So the ratio from large triangle to small triangle is 3 to 1. It's a 3 to 1 ratio, meaning that that, that big triangle is three times as big as a small triangle. We call this the scale factor. Right? The scale factor. We kind of talked about this yesterday. When, when you buy smaller versions, like if you, if you are collect model cars or if you build model cars, a lot of these model cars are built to scale. That means they're exactly like the big cars, but they're just in a smaller form. And what's the ratio? What's small? They usually put it on the box. They say it's a 15 to 1 ratio. That means the car is 15 times bigger. It could be a 5 to 1 ratio, so you might have a bigger car. That means it's five, the big regular car is five times bigger than the smaller one. Now, what if you were a student and said, Mr., Mr., I did this. I compared small to large. Is that okay? 
Yeah, that's fine as long as you say it because the order matters. If you say I'm comparing the small to the large, that means I'm saying small first and then large second. That's fine. You're just your numbers would just be flipped. Small would be 10, large would be 30. Small would be 9, large would be 27. And then I get 1 over 3 equals 1 over 3, and then I can make a sentence that says the ratio of small triangle to large triangle. You guys noticed that? I said small first, and then I said large second because small is on the top and large is on the bottom. Right? It all depends on which one you say first. So now if I say the ratio of small triangle to large triangle is 1 to 3. Right? That means the small one is one-third the size of the large one. So both of these ways of doing it is correct. It just all depends on which one you're saying first. Whatever one you're saying first goes on top. Okay, because you just basically, are you shrinking or are you growing? Shrinking or growing? If I'm growing, then I look at this one and I say, ooh, it grew three times to go from the comparing large to small. But when I compare small to large, oh, it's only one third. It's only one third of the size. Okay, I'm going to give you a minute to soak that in, to, to copy this down. We'll do some examples in a second. So I'll give you a minute to copy that down. So just to recap, small to large, right? You guys picked 8 over 12. You picked the orange, 8 over 12, 8 over 12. And that's what I put here. And then you picked the purple, which is 10 over 15. And why did I put 10 first over 15? Because 10 is the small triangle and 15 is the large triangle triangle and again this first one's saying small to large and how do i know it's small to large because that's the first one they said when they're talking about it what's the scale factor of small triangle abc to large they're telling you small to large so small goes on top i simplified both and i get two-thirds two-thirds equals two-thirds that means they're proportional and so two-thirds is our scale factor the small triangle is two-thirds the size of the big triangle and then question two does the opposite. Okay, this is what is the scale factor of the large triangle, DEF, to the small triangle. So now large is first. So that means large goes on top and small goes on the bottom. So I just get that three to two scale factor and I flip it and it becomes three to two. I take the two to three and I flip it to three to two. And now the scale factor of the large to the small is three to two. And if I divide three divided by two, because that's what a fraction is, 3 divided by 2, I get 1.5, which tells me that this is 1.5 or 1 and a half times bigger than this one. Okay, so I'll give you a minute to copy that. Any questions, too? I, I try to recap. If you have any questions, please ask. Okay, no questions? Okay, so now let's look at the last. It says, what is the ratio of the perimeter? So perimeter just means add all the sides, right? So let's do this. <clears throat> let's find it. What's the perimeter of the small triangle? Well, the perimeter just means add all the sides. So the side is 8 plus 10 plus 14. Right? What's the perimeter? 8 plus 10 plus 14, that's 18 plus 14, which is 32. So the perimeter of this small one, the perimeter is 32 of the small triangle. All right, let's find the perimeter of the large triangle. Perimeter is just adding all the sides. 12 plus 15 plus 21. Well, 12 plus 15 is 27 plus 21. That's 48. So the perimeter here is 48. So let's go back to the question. It says, what is the ratio of the perimeter of DEF to ABC? Well, DEF is the large and ABC is the small. So if I'm writing a ratio, I want large over small. The large goes on top because it was mentioned first. Remember, whatever is mentioned first goes on top. And so if I look here, large is 48, small is 32. So that's 48 over 32. And how can I simplify that? What can I divide 48 and 32 by? How would I get the ratio? I look at the sides, right? What, you have to ask yourself, what are you comparing? What are you comparing? Right? And I'm comparing the sides. That's why I made them orange, purple, and yellow. That's exactly what I did here. Somebody asked, Mr. 
How do you get the ratio? How do you get that ratio? You just compare. And this is telling you what is the scale factor to A, B, C, and D, E, F. And I'm comparing the sides, this side and the small triangle to this side and the large triangle because those are the matching sides. And that's where I got 8 to 12. Then you guys told me purple. So I look at the small, which is 10, and the large, which is 15, and that's why I got 10 over 15. Remember, a ratio is comparing two things, so you got to ask yourself, what are you comparing? You're comparing the sides. And in the first case, I was comparing the small to the large, small on top, large on bottom. Over here, I'm comparing the large to the small, so I put the large on top and the small on bottom. And then right here, what goes first? What's first right here? Large and then small. So that means large is on top because I said it first. Small is on the bottom because I said it second. And so what's the, what are we comparing here? What are we comparing? It tells you right here, the perimeter. So I, that's why I found the perimeter of this one, which is 32. I found the perimeter of this one, which is 48. So I'm going to put the large on top, which is 48. The small on the bottom, 32. And then I can divide these. Someone said I can divide by 8. I can actually divide by a bigger number. I can divide by a bigger number. Yes, 16. Good job. Good job. Hold on. Good job. I can divide by 16. And what's 48 divided by 16? Just get your calculator. That's 3. And what's 32 divided by 16? That's 2. Look what the ratio is. 3 to 2. When I went from large to small, I got 3 to 2. And isn't that what I suppose, I'm supposed to get? Same, same thing as when I did it to the sides. So that ratio that I'm growing or shrinking, that rate, that ratio that I'm growing and shrinking is the same for the perimeter. All right. That's all I've explained today. Just that one box. Tomorrow we're going to talk about similarity statements because when these sides are proportional like this, we can say the figures are similar. And then we're going to start making statements about that. But we're going to do that tomorrow. Okay. If there are no questions, I haven't put the homework up, have not put the homework up yet. We're going to uh, talk about similarity statements tomorrow and have some classwork. And then I'll put up the homework tomorrow and the homework will probably be due on Monday, right? Because we have support Monday, so we can work on it then too. So I have not put the homework up yet. I will put it up tonight for those of you that want to get started. But we're going to talk about similarity statements tomorrow. But if you don't understand scale factor, now is a great time to ask. If you don't understand any of these two boxes, now is a great time to ask. But if you do understand and you don't have any questions, have a great Thursday. If you do have questions, I'll be here um, to answer them for the next few minutes. And Ms. Torres and Ms. Rivas are also here. But if you don't have any questions, have a great Thursday and uh, I'll see you all tomorrow.